Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Meeks and uh, I think I should have worn my Batman shirt today. Fan Effect. First up, this week on Fan Effect, we reviewed Joker. Andy Farnsworth was joined by Fan Effect alum Tyson Webb. The movie shows Kelly Ann Halverson and Herb Scribner from the Deseret News. So make sure you download the Fan Effect podcast on iTunes, Google Play Podcasts, Podbean, or wherever you get your podcasts so you can hear our review on Joker. Now let's talk trailers. The Birds of Prey trailer dropped this week. Harley Quinn has left Mr. J and is now teaming up with Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya to save a young girl from a crime lord black mask. Margot Robbie is reprising her role as Harley Quinn and Ewan McGregor is playing the black mask. We also saw a trailer for The Gentleman, a film starring Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Colin Farrell, and Hugh Grant, where a British drug lord tries to sell off his highly profitable empire to a bunch of Oklahoma billionaires. Joker hit theaters Friday amidst controversy referencing the violent attack in 2012 at the premiere of The Dark Knight. The movie is receiving mixed reviews from critics but positive reviews from moviegoers. The Rotten Tomatoes score for The Joker currently sits at 60% fresh with critics and an audience score of 93%. Also on Friday, Lucy in the Sky premiered, and it doesn't look like it's doing so well. Natalie Portman plays the role of Lucy Cola, an astronaut that has a hard time adjusting to her life as she returns from her trip to space. Critics are saying that Portman is giving her all, but the story is jumbled and confusing. The Rotten Tomatoes score has the critics at 29%, and as of this moment on Friday, October 4th, there is no audience score yet. In video game news, it was announced officially on Friday by Rockstar Games that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to PC, and that there will be special bonuses for anyone who pre-purchases the game on Rockstar's PC launcher starting October 9th. Also, PlayStation's Iron Man VR got a release date of February 28th, 2020. The release date was announced at New York Comic Con where Marvel shared many details about the game, including that it would have its own unique storyline. In other news, Disney is banning Netflix ads on all its entertainment TV networks. This is a sign that the marketing war over streaming video is escalating in order to gain viewers. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and all social media, as well as make sure you download our podcast. Thanks for watching this Fan Effect Weekly Review, and I'll see you later. Fan Effect.